Yeah. And the markets, like the news on tax reform, are record closes across the board. The Dow finished up 137 points to close at 24,645. The S&P 500 was up 23 points to finish at 2675. And the Nasdaq was up 80 points to end at 6936. Again, all record closes. Market analysis tonight. David Mastriani is from Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and he is in the newsroom. Hi, David. Hey, Mike. How are you? Good. So we hit all-time highs on all three indexes yet again. I don't know how many times that's happened this year. <laughs> many, uh, perhaps a few dozen. What was motivating investors today? Well, Mike, as you mentioned, we hit another all-time high, but what was really motivating investors was uh, the news on Capitol Hill regarding uh, Congress's new tax plan. Despite some concerns earlier in the day, Republicans were able to reach a compromise on several key issues, which helped sway senators that were previously on the fence. This leads to the way to a final cast of votes by both chambers of Congress next week, which means the bill could be sent to the president for final approval by Christmas. We'll see what happens. All right, Under Armour was a big winner today. What happened? with Under Armour. Yeah, big news for Under Armour. They received a, uh, a boost thanks to the announcement of a new sponsorship deal with Team Canada that will last seven years. This is the company's first partnership with the National Olympic team, and the athletes from Canada will have new boots, running shoes, training shoes, in time for uh, the 2018 Winter Olympics. Uh, despite the stock struggling for much of the year, uh, today Under Armour shares were up over 9%. Okay, Oracle also reported earnings today, but did uh, not do well. Uh, what happened with Oracle? Yeah, it was a tough day for Oracle. Uh, they came out with uh, earnings, and despite beating uh, revenue estimates, they uh, actually uh, had a report that suggested a slowdown in their cloud computing business that was uh, below expectations. As Oracle has pivoted to selling uh, subscriptions of online software, it has faced a stiff competition in the cloud computing space from the likes of uh, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. Uh, their shares were down nearly a 4% today. It has been a busy week, David, for Disney, and they mm -hmm. also have Star Wars The Last Jedi coming out this weekend, of course, and last night. How big is that move expected to be, that movie, uh, internationally? I mean, pretty big, Mike. The film is set to be uh, the biggest release of the holiday season and is already the top advanced ticket seller of the year. Current projections say that the movie is on track to generate roughly $425 million of global ticket sales this weekend, which will definitely be a nice windfall for Walt Disney Company. Very nice. All right. What do we have to look forward to next week, David? Well, next week we'll see some house-related data as well as the final GDP revision. Uh, keep in mind, though, Mike, the big news will be on Washington regarding the uh, tax reform vote as well as a looming government shutdown. We will look for all of that next week and follow it very closely. David Mastriani of Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts. David, thanks. Thanks again, Mike.